if one looks at the history of India after independence in 1947, uh, for the first 30 to 40 years, I think we were effectively given up as a basket case because we made various attempts through socialism to effectively alleviate poverty and keep growing, but that model didn't work. So even when um, in the pre-90s, when we spoke to foreign corporations or foreign businessmen who wanted to do business with us, we were always a land of opportunity, but an opportunity that whose time had not yet come. Uh, the attitude, I think, really changed from the early 90s when the liberalization or our second economic freedom really uh, began. And this picked up momentum, I would say, into the latter half of the period between 91 uh, till now. Currently, uh, I think India is uh, looked at with a lot of respect across number of dimensions. Uh, let me uh, enumerate a few. Uh, it's looked at as um, a safe environment in which, uh, thanks to the rule of law, one can do business and uh, no one really has lost a lot of money in India. On the contrary, people have made enormous profits. The, the fact that we are built upon private sector concepts is a source of great comfort. The second dimension, I think, is um, the Indian people are regarded as very intelligent, skilled in maths and science, very comfortable with things ranging from philosophy to, uh, to music to the arts, and that's something which fascinates the world as well. India is developing a lot of soft power, uh, and it's not just about us providing outsourcing and call centers to the world. We are providing a lot of uh, thought and, uh, and a way of life. Uh, I think we are also respected for uh, fundamentally uh, a non-violent belief thanks to our, our religious roots, whether it's Hinduism, uh, Jainism, Buddhism. We've contributed more religions to the world than any part of the world. And that's something which does find its way into uh, how the world looks at it. At some point of time, everybody has a spiritual need and somewhere or the other you'll find that Indian connection. So our culture is making a big difference and whether it's our curries or uh, movies like Slumdog Millionaire uh, or whether it's um, uh, just the Bollywood uh, numbers to which a lot of the world is rocking, I think we are, the India's soft power is going up. And we are contributing a lot of entrepreneurs to the world as well, whether it's people like Lakshmi Mittal or Indra Nui or thinkers like Amartya Sen. Um, this is all happening because of there's something fundamentally uh, right and thoughtful about, uh, about Indian society. That's how I see it. I, I, I may be wrong, but um, that's how I see it.